Hey guys, so this is just going to be a quick six month update. Um, it's pretty late because she is going on seven months now, but better late than never, right? Um, I decided to just go ahead and do it. Since the seven month one will probably end up being late too. Um, but like I said, it'll be short because I covered pretty much everything in her five month update. That was a bit longer. Um, not a lot more has happened, although she is moving like crazy. I'm not sure. I think when I did that one, she had like just started like rolling around a lot more and kind of scooting all over. Well, now she's getting even better at that. She's all over the place. Um, the other day we left the room for like two minutes and she had like wrapped herself up in the tree skirt. Um, she's just all over the place. Um, crawling is coming. She, uh, just started pushing herself up on her knees and then she'll just like rock back and forth a few times but she hasn't like you know stepped out and crawled <laughs> but um yeah she loves getting around so when she starts crawling we're gonna have to hide everything um yeah we've tried a f uh I think last time I talked about maybe when what did I do that update? I can't remember. Well anyway, right about six months we started trying solids just a little bit. Um but we didn't try very many, like um every few days I would try something, but pretty much everything she like made a vase and spit it out and gagged. Um the only thing so far she really liked the other day was teeny tiny pieces of chicken. So she didn't like that. But I mean obviously she didn't have much. It was like teeny tiny tiny. She seems to like not like the texture of baby food. I don't know. Maybe if she just likes warm stuff. Maybe if I warm it up she would like it better. Um, but she's getting big. It was hard to get this sweatshirt on her today. Um, she has a big noggin too so the ones that don't have the little tabs on the shoulders it's really hard to get them on her head so I'm gonna avoid those for a little while unless they're like stretchy enough. Yeah I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Yeah. You see yourself? There you go. Yeah. There's Jocelyn. Um, I just got this cookies and milk um, headband because um, I husband's dad calls her a cookie monster so yeah her grandpa nosa calls her that so um i had to get the cookies and milk that was with our last order as a little lady grace uh rep on instagram so yeah so i got that headband and i was so excited as our free gift she sent the val one of the valentine's bows so i'm really excited to use that get some pictures. <clears throat> I did order a Valentine's onesie from Target and I really need to find another one or something that she can wear but I'm really excited because I could dress it down or dress it up with the same red tutu that she wore for Christmas. Um, so I just love putting it in that. Um, it's just so fun. Like every little holiday is a excuse for cute clothes. And every day is an excuse for cute clothes because, I mean, how can you just not dress that up? Really? Really? Yeah. And um, I did get her some Sweet and Swag mocks for Christmas. Um, the platinum ones so they go with like everything. Which I love them and you can tell the difference in quality. Um, they just feel and look like really good quality but um as much as I love supporting those shops and stuff and getting really good quality my budget doesn't quite always agree so um my friend Tara had told me about she was getting um mocks for her little girl on ebay from China so um I had to order a couple pairs so I just got I ordered the first ones on December 18th 
and they arrived yesterday so about two weeks which is not bad um, because the estimated arrival date was like February 7th to March something so I was just happy they came right away um, and after these few pairs that I had ordered I think I'm just gonna start ordering like next size up because she's gonna be in those pretty soon um, and when you order just go by the inches or whatever it is it kind of tells what it is in centimeters and inch inches um, because <clears throat> she has one pair from sorry this is becoming like a mock moccasin video but I just love them they're the cutest little shoes ever they don't like easily slide off they're comfortable um, well at least I think they look comfortable <laughs> but um, and they're kind of flexible so they're good for as crib shoes or learning to walk um, anyway but these are the 6 to 12 month size and these were like four dollars or something um, on eBay so anyway I have another some from another person that are that makes them that are three to six months and they're about the same size and then I I think yeah the ones from Sweet and Swag are size three which I think is like 12 to 18 month and they fit here like the same if not maybe just a teeny tiny bit bigger so yeah just go by the inches of your baby's foot not like their age or you know I'm sure you know as you go with other clothes but you kind of have to go by the weight and everything um so yeah are you looking at yourself yeah Ooh, cutie yeah <laughs> um anyway so yeah I'm loving the moccasins and headbands of course so these kind of slide off a little bit easier but yeah so if you don't already like I said before follow her on Instagram um, for all those adorable pictures and stuff like that um, yeah um, what else was I gonna say? She talked about food. She we have tried um, a tiny bit of organic baby oatmeal, and she actually did eat a few bites yesterday and then today. Yeah. And um, but I don't want to do like too many grains too early. Um, yeah. What else was I gonna say? I think I did say yeah. She weighed in at 20 pounds at her six month check up so she's a little chunker her little friend Sadie who's about a year and a half almost a year and a half is um 19 pounds which is a little like a skinny thing and she's like shorter but weighs more so but yeah he'll stretch out yeah he'll stretch out but your feet will probably keep growing like mine did Hopefully not as big. I wear a size 10, so I think she'll probably pass Sadie in the foot department soon too. Yeah, you're just a little chunker like your mommy was too. I was a big baby too, so it's all good. It's all good, right? Yeah. So yeah, like I said, not to talk about, and this girl is doing something. I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Alright. Here we go. Want that? Anyways, we are gonna go. Like I said, not a lot to talk about, but you can follow her on Instagram. It's jocelyn.taylor.nosa. And yeah, ow, that hurt my wrist. Okay. We're gonna go. So we will see you soon in the next video. Um, yeah. Like you probably seen, I posted a few short, short, tiny videos of her. Um, just things I'd like to have saved. But um, I don't know. I thought about maybe I could do just a few like 
and then put them together at the end of a week or whatever I don't know but just that way loading like the one little clip is just so much easier when I don't really have a lot of time I can just go on YouTube from my phone and do that in like two minutes so yeah it is a lot easier that way for me at least so yeah anyway we will see you later hope you have a good day month week year like can't believe it's 2016 already seriously and i'm a mother <laughs> to this crazy kid yeah all right bye guys say bye bye like to who i'm waiting on me yeah yeah